There he is. There we go. There we go. There we go. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. How are you? How are well, you? Good fine, night. Jen? Good night for me. Good. Good. Good night for you, and good morning for us. Yes. Yeah. Great. Wait, now, where are you um, guys? Uh, pardon? Where are you guys? Oh, I'm. I'm in Canada. Okay. Uh, I'm in Michigan. Um, and I'm in Alabama. Okay. I'm in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Let's uh, let's see. What are all you? Uh, thank you all for joining me. What are you all using today for this evening morning shave? I guess I'll go first. I've, I've got uh, last year's release, Never Alone Three, gearing up for next weekend. And um, I'm using my uh, Paul Trotter version of the Tataro, which is the uh, oh the Masamune handle and uh, base plate with an Adachi top cap. Nice. And this beautiful AKA brush that was <clears throat> gifted to me by a wonderful group of gentlemen uh, at last year's Never Alone release. Wow. That's beautiful. So. Nice. All right. What are you? Using Molly? Uh, I'm using PAA Dapper Docs. Ooh, nice. A 1959 Gillette Fat Boy that I just had revamped by Razor Emporium. Oh, that's just beautiful. Got it back wow. a couple weeks ago. That's beautiful. And oh, man. me too, AKA Brush. AKA Brush. Uh, this is, uh, they had it up as the Van Halen Eruption Brush. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, that's nice. I was wanting to get that and somebody tagged me in it and I said yeah you know it's just you know it's kind of out of my budget and I went to bed that night and I thought you know if it's there in the morning I'm gonna get it <laughs> and I woke up and it was gone and I was like oh man and then like four days later Philip Sharp sent me a message with Molly that brush is on its way to you uh, oh that's awesome yeah so shout out to Phil for that thank you Phil yeah, Phil's yeah. an awesome dude very cool that's awesome Beautiful. and I want to we'll I, I want to say hey I want to say hey to Barry and Doug because they're watching hey Barry Doug Okay. Nice. Uh, what are you using there, uh, Scott? Also using last year's release, Never Alone. Nice. And for the, the brush is also a Never Alone from AKA. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Free AKA the, one thing, the one thing I can say about gardeners' pores, if, if you don't see them in person, the pictures don't do them justice because you can physically see into the brush, which I yeah. think is amazing. Yeah. And then, yeah. for the razor is the latest from Alpha, Ooh. Ooh. which is the one he done for the UK WSS. Is that yes. a black cap? It's yes. a black cap and Ooh, a blue base plate. That's not nice. That's gorgeous. Just really nice. That's an awesome shave. I am going with Never Alone One. <laughs> I'm and the odd I'm man be, out. I'm going to be using my Never Alone Two brush that I got from AKA with the old AKA coin. Man, um, vintage stuff today. Yeah. And my newest acquisition, the uh, Mula uh, R95. I broke that with the birchwood handle. So nice I keep looking seeing that on, on Instagram. That's a nice looking razor. Yeah, I, I'm I'm excited to use it. A few people have mentioned it to me, and they were like, "Oh, you gotta try, it, you gotta try it." So I'm gonna try it. Yeah. That, so we'll see how it is. That birch bark makes it nice and grippy too. Right. It is, and it smells fantastic. And I did so, have uh, a blue bowl, but this just came in yesterday. Oh, nice. And that's so cool. That's so, so cool. Great and job. of course, that's from that's from Peter. So. Nice. He is the man when it comes to those those logos on the bottom. Unbelievable. So, any big plans this uh, long weekend? Well, it's not it's not not a long weekend over there for you, is it, Molly? No. No, but we've got a typhoon that's been rolling through here for the past week, and it's, like, moving really, really slow, and we'll probably get hit by it tomorrow or the next Ooh. day. So it's, the weather's just been horrible all week, you know. Oh, I hope but, everything yeah. will be okay. Yeah, it'll be all right. 
Every, it's, it's, it's every year. It's every year the typhoon. Yeah. yeah. Dozens of them. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, how about you, gents, for the long weekend? Anything, Scott? Anything, Matt? Uh, nothing for me. Nothing for me. Just getting ready. Ready to come see you wonderful people next week. Uh, so. I can't wait. Just going to watch I, a little college football. That's it, eh? Hey. It's, it. it's a good it's time right there. Oh, man. Shoulder's still a bit tender. I was actually feeling better yesterday, so of course I overdid it a little bit. Right. Like any man would be. Oh, what? It's feeling better? Yeah, I can move it all kinds. Let's just say last <laughs> night's sleep. Last night's sleep was not fun. By any means. But uh, just a heads up, we will be doing a $20 gift card to TRC today. Uh, to some lucky winner. Uh, uh, also, guys, I don't know. The grooming department or Aeon Skincare had a uh, a big drop at TRC and you better get on it because they're almost all gone and they're all the uh, they're all the duck flavors and and such so yeah with those those out. dropped about an hour ago or something huh oh they dropped yesterday i think oh did they yeah yeah i think they dropped yesterday and they are flying he has a he has amazing stuff Oh man, hard to make lather with this shoulder all messed up. It's gonna be oh, fun. I hate shoulder, I hate shoulder pain. It's the worst. I threw my back oh. out about three weeks ago, and I'm still hobbling around because of it. Ian says, "Do y'all remember the old school wrestler Typhoon Man? I miss the old days. Yes, I do. Yeah, he was. He uh." He was a tag team partner with Earthquake, I think. Earthquake, yeah. Yep. They were the masters of disasters. Yep. Um, my dad kind of ruined wrestling for me because, you know, of course, when we were younger, we all thought it was real. Right. Until he, until he recorded it and then paused it and showed that it didn't even hit each other. Well, uh, like, not, well not real. Thanks for ruining that, Dad. You sure it's not real? I've been watching it for 50 years. <laughs> Just don't slow. Don't know anything and keep living the dream, my brother. That's you, right. You mean you can't hit somebody in the in the head with a chair and they just stand up after that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Carlos just found out. No, no, I found it a long time ago. My dad ruined it. Ruined it for me. But I didn't care. It's it's like a soap opera for men, really. Yep. You think about it. It is. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's funny because, uh, you know, obviously when I was younger, it was during um, Hulk Hogan's heyday, where everybody loved Hulk Hogan, right? But yeah. now when I go back and look, I have so much more appreciation for all the work that the heels did because they had yeah. the harder job, you know, selling it to make you hate them. It was easy to like Hulk Hogan, and now I can't stand the guy. Oh, I don't know. I, I kind of still, I still like him. I mean, anytime, anytime, listen, it was funny. Um, uh, Shave three two six. He came back into the community. He had he had left it for a bit, and he came back, and he's kind of distanced distanced himself again. But um, it was funny because we were all like, "Hey, brother, how's it going, brother? <laughs> you know, hey, brother, how's it going, brother? My brother." And he goes, "Man, when did it? When did everybody become Hulk Hogan? When 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 I left the community?" <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. Today we're gonna go with the fifty nine fat boy. That's it. <laughs> That's a perfect impression. impression. Uh, Angelo I said, uh, "Angelo said, um, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and this is still one of my favorite matches is between him and like that rivalry between him and Macho Man." Oh yeah, that was a great battle. WrestleMania three. That was forever in a day. Oh, yeah. Macho Man was always my favorite. Oh yeah, he, nobody yell at you to slap into his, snap into his slim jim. Um, Carlos, can you give us an update on your shoulder? Yes, it hurts. It hurts. It, hurts. it still hurts. Uh, I was feeling better yesterday, and I started, like, moving and being like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Bro, and last night was just horrible. It was just pain. Kept waking every half an hour. 
Wake me up. That's what happens when the big guy falls down. All sorts of bad stuff happens. Hmm. Carlos, well, so are you, uh, Molly, how, how long have you been in Japan? 33 years. Wow. Oh. Yeah. I'm originally from Kentucky. Okay. Uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Ohio, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. Um, yeah, yeah, I came over here in 91. Yeah, so my, my whole adult life has been over here. Wow. That's cool. And uh, what do you do over there? I'd be an English teacher. Nice. Yeah. Giving them that southern about accent. The, about the only gig you can get, you know? <laughs> oh, fair <laughs> enough. That's awesome, dude. Well, that's, uh, that's really cool. All right, here we go. Yeah, easy with that shoulder. <laughs> well, I'm kind of moving the face. Carl, is anybody also, coming with you next weekend? Uh, I, I'm coming by myself initially. Okay. Um, Caleb will be coming. Uh, as far as the Canadians, I think that's that's it. You don't need anything else. Carlos and Caleb. That's it. No, it's going to be a good time. Um, so I'm going to say, say um, yeah, I'm going to head down there a little bit earlier on Thursday. Give Jason and the gang their uh, a hand. A pretty... Uh, Aggressive razor, eh? Yeah. What, what blade did you go with in it? My shaver boy. I don't know if you guys I'm using it. a I'm using a big chrome platinum and the fat boy set on level five. Oh nice. Yeah, that's generally where I keep mine when I shave with the fat boy. It's pretty good first pass then. Um, also, next week on Tuesday, guys, the new McDuff's sets are coming out. The Dr. Duff and the other ones, I don't remember. And on a restock of American Vintage. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, that's a great leather scent. Really, really amazing. That's uh, That'll be back uh, on Tuesday, the restock. And honest, and all the new... Uh, sweet. And all the new... Bar soaps from McDuff's will also be there. I'll see you on Friday, Ken said. I'll be there Friday afternoon. Yes, that sounds it's aggressive, but it's nice. I'm I'm actually enjoying the shave. Let's see, we got some questions here. Anybody else going to the Ohio meetup in a couple weeks? Yeah, Zelda, uh, Molly, thing. you going? Um, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be. That'll be, oh yeah, for sure, but that'll be quite the trip. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, they, they do it every uh, year, Dr. like Duff. in the Columbus area. Yeah, I think Dr. Duff's will, will have a Dr. Pepper scent for sure. Oh, Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Um, uh, Keith Fundy says, Carl, do you have any football parlays today? <laughs> uh... Probably put the dogs and volunteers and ducks on a ticket. No idea. Uh, on a yep. scale of one to ten, how bad is your pain? When they ask you that, I can handle a lot of pain. Uh, right now, I'd say it's about a six. Um, when it first happened, it was a, an eleven. Oh. Yeah. It was Shoulder great. pain sucks. Yeah. Well, you don't realize. Okay. Uh, Lee Badly Brood, which city in Japan is the stellar educational gentleman in? <laughs> I am in a city called Shizuoka, which is about two hours, about three hours west of Tokyo. Oh, nice. Right on the coast. 
Oh, so that typhoon's gonna definitely hit the door, the front door. Oh yeah. Explain the post. I'll oh, stop it in. Joe, the hat hanging up behind me. What's that? Joe wants to know where my cowboy hat's at. <laughs> he is a cowboy. I can't wait to see you again, bro. It's going to be super fun. Yeah, does it sound like a lot of people are coming? Quite a few. Colin, I know, is coming. Uh, Steven, Clean Shave Dad's coming. Um, Scott's coming. Um, I can't remember exactly how uh, who else, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty packed in in the store this year. I mean, it's gotten bigger every year. Yeah, yeah. Two years ago, when uh, when I went, it was just uh, myself, Ken, um, a couple other people. Crystal was there. Angelo actually wasn't there because uh, he was re doing his life from home, but Crystal was there. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I'm sure they'll be here this year. Peter was there, too. I'm not going to change it. Yeah. Exactly, Ian. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, Nas is going to be there, Brian. Yeah, Nas, Brian, sorry, yes, Bama Boy. Bama Boy will also be there, uh, Michael. Well, um... New store is perfect for stuff like this. The new oh, store, yeah. uh, the, the space that he has. No, enough room for more than enough people. Oscar usually comes by too. Oh yeah. Where Oscar, is this? This is at the Razor Company. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, next weekend uh, will be the Never Alone Drop, guys. So everybody knows, uh, September 7th, 10 a.m. Everything. Thing will be there it will be available all the products will be up and and beforehand guys go into trc go into the menu uh online and all the products will be up for preview uh and they'll be all, all have the, have all the prices you won't be able to purchase them but they'll be there so you guys can decide what you want what you what you can't get what you can get um yes uh, nicole i've tried the new uh, trc level two razor it's fantastic amazing smooth and uh and really efficient, really nice. Um, also, uh, 50 of the 85. Oh, Amelia and Gardner from AKA will also be there. Thank you so much. Everybody, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, they'll be there also, which is amazing. They are fantastic people. Um, and speaking of them, 50 out of 85 brushes are already on the site. So check those out if you want to. If you want to pick a brush or try and done for the one you want. And there'll be 30 more coming on, so there's plenty of stuff. Uh, another thing, guys, I told you already, there's that post that TRC posted up. It's pinned on the page at the top. And we're looking for you guys to recommend a steward or just, you know, somebody who, who's there for you in the community. Um, please go there and post somebody's name who 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 you feel is, is would be a great steward for Never Alone to reach out that reaches out and checks on people and will, will help you and be an ear to listen just just uh go there and please please uh post uh, the name of, of the person that you think would be there uh chris from carve is not coming um, and, and we lift the entire community <laughs> yeah yeah i mean um I mean, there's so many you can't really choose hmm. It is. It's hard. I mean, I narrowed mine down to three people who really, like, I know the others have, and it's it's no disrespect to them at all, but there's there's just certain people who, from from the rip, from when I first got in the community, that have always been there for me and literally reach out and always ask and check in on me and. And so that's that's who I went with on mine. And it could be one person. It could be five people. Just go ahead and uh, and just post it. Go go uh, and you know state your case and let Jason and everybody know. What's this for? Uh, 
Uh, it's the steward um, for Never Alone. So basically the unsung hero, like somebody, it doesn't have to be somebody who's in public eye. It could be somebody who privately you talk to and got helped you through some stuff. And sure. And just go there and nominate them. You guys, the scent for Never Alone, guys, it's unbelievable. It is off the hook. A beautiful, beautiful lime with um, with yuzu and a little lavender, and it finishes off with a white pepper. But, it, I mean, you'll get the beautiful lime right up front, and it kind of lingers throughout the whole scent. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get that, that lavender and the, the yuzu work together, the little bit floral. But that dissipates to a just a clean, fresh scent that literally lingers. It is, and this is off the EDP. I haven't lathered it up yet. I'm waiting for it because um, on Monday, Shade Migos, we will have Ken and uh, and J Mac on. Nice to to talk more about um, you know everything. Uh, Everything never alone. And my writing is horrible. I wrote this down this morning. Can't even read what I wrote. But we'll get. We'll have all the info of everything about where the charities are, uh, who we're donating to, and everything. Who uh, Jason is donating all the all the proceeds to. Um. Yeah. So make sure you guys watch uh, Monday's uh, Monday's Migo show. Sounds like it'll be a good time. Oh, for sure. When I finish my shave, yeah, I like to use Thayer's witch hazel. Yeah, I hear you got the skin of a twelve-year-old there. That's right. Yeah, I'll actually, the Thayer's. Hey, Molly. Yeah. I actually, I actually put it in a bougie sprayer. I need to do that. Angelo gave me this idea, and it works out really well. Good morning. I have a visitor. So I hope you don't mind for a second. Oh, good morning, beautiful. <laughs> Look at the little princess. Hey, I've got some, hey, I've got some magic for you. You want to see do you like magic? You like magic? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Do you see my thumb? You see a thumb? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Oh, where did his thumb go? Watch this. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. Amazing, huh? Hey, seriously, how did you do that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull it off. <laughs> Be over there yanking. Yeah, yeah. You you asked me what I do, right? And I said I said I'm an English teacher. I kind of left out that I teach first and second grade elementary school. Mm. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So so I'm used to working with kids. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> kids are adorable. Yeah, summer. Va we're actually on summer vacation right now, and I go back to work on Monday. But oh. it's possible because of this typhoon, we won't. You know, school won't be starting on Monday. We'll see. Now, here's the thing I know about Japan because I have a very good friend who lives in Japan. Sure. Uh, he's an Italian uh, chef. Okay, and... then it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and he told me that he told me Japan has so many holidays. Yeah. He's like, like it is insane. He goes, every, yeah. Every, I, every every month, there's two or three holidays. I think, holidays. I think. I think if I remember correctly, June is the only one that doesn't have any holidays. Wow. And that's like, oh man, bummer. We're not going to have any holidays this month. Well, we'll India. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. India's got quite a few too. Oh really? Yeah. We've got uh, colleagues that we work with directly, and and it seems like every month that they have a couple of days off for a holiday well canada yeah. decided in february and we don't have a long weekend we're just going to make up a holiday we're going to call it family day well, there family day yeah, just made it right up and was like we need we need a, i mean even though it's a short month we need a holiday we need a long weekend well you know with my, my job i have summer vacation which is about six weeks so i went on vacation like i think my last day of work was july 17th and then i go back this coming monday if if we do and then I'll work September, October, November, December, and I'll get 
three weeks off in December for New Year's and Christmas holidays. Oh, wow. And then, um, oh, sorry, about two weeks. Okay. And then the school year ends in March. So then I'll be off for about a month from like mid-March to mid-April. Oh, wow. And then oh. once we get into April, at the end of April, beginning of May, it's what they call golden week. So I have a week off work there. Jeez. And then in summer vacation, yeah. So it's like every three months, I've got like a couple weeks off work. So yeah, and paid. So I that's you know, and and add insult to injury to everybody. I work from nine thirty-five in the morning. I finish at twelve twenty. Oh geez, <laughs> man! All right, I'm buying a four, ticket. Four, Look out! Four four days. Yeah. A week. <laughs> I'm buying a ticket. Look out! I work on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but and that's why and that's why you've been there for thirty three right, years. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but on the other side of that, like tonight, like I just finished doing some lessons. I if, if this wasn't happening, I would be teaching right now. But wow! Be, but because you invited me this morning, thank you very much. Um, after I got your invite, I checked my schedule and nobody had signed in, so I just went ahead and closed my lessons for tonight. So wow. so I could fit in on this but yeah but yeah so you know i teach every night you know on online so, uh, barry barry says you need to speak some japanese yeah that's what i'm saying exactly twice on sunday it's okay so, where do you get your uh, your shave stuff know. from? Is there yeah. a place locally you can get stuff? No, no, no. Um, there's a place down in Osaka, but he doesn't have a very big, big doesn't have like a, a big uh, um, selection. Okay. Mm -hmm. So luckily, um, my friend Barry there, Text and Shaves, he's been very cool about boxing thing, you know, collecting stuff for me. And sending them over to me, you know, so that way we can pile everything into one shipment and send it over, you know. Oh, and nice. Yeah, and he's giving me a ton of soaps. And, um, yeah, he's, he. you know what, when I had my razor done, um, actually, Barry picked this up for me and sent it over for me, so. Nice. Barry's a stellar guy. Now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's all right. Yeah, when he's sleeping. <laughs> and he shaves with mayonnaise <laughs> and um, nacho cheese. Lee, no. Uh, do it when you wake up, Lee. Uh, uh, T. Fundy, hey, Matt, do you have any engineering jokes? <laughs> um, I heard it said that engineering couples tend to have better moments. Why? Yeah, see, it's, it's a joke, but it's lost on everybody. <laughs> Are moments something that has to do with engineering? Yes. Ah. Ah, it's a physics or thing. Horrible joke. Anyway, yep, it uh, is. <laughs> no, I'm sure. I'm sure Chris Carr would be laughing uh, <laughs> really hard. Um, Molly, I just saw your Sammy Haggins, Sammy Haggins best of all world tour last night show. show. What's that? All right, I don't know. I, I, hold on. Wait till Matt's done with the. All right, there we go. Um, he said. Uh, Indy Shaver, Dave, Dave said. Uh, he said, uh, just saw your Sammy Hager's, or Sammy Hager's best of all worlds for last night. Stellar show. Okay. So, so, oh, I went to the concert. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm more in the, I'm more in the David Lee Roth camp. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. <laughs> I think most, mostly um, everybody is. I'm, I, I'm the Hagar guy. Say this. I, I kind of feel that I kind of feel that Sammy Hagar is probably the nicer person. <laughs> A little easier to deal with, maybe. Yeah, sure. you know, I mean, from what I see in the interviews and stuff like that, unless he's a great actor, you know, he comes across as pretty genuine, you know. And Dave, Jesus, you know, you can't even understand a thing he says. He's pretty wild. Mm. Uh, hey, what's going on, Nate? Uh, okay, and here's another thing, guys. Um, coming up soon, there will be a big giveaway a post from Jason. He's gonna post it. It'll be a giveaway post for a huge Never Alone uh giveaway. 
Um, there's also a AK bowl that's been made with the same colors. Mm. That will be part of that giveaway. So be ready for that. And I, I received a couple other things that uh, for the first hundred uh, orders, you will get one of these. This is actually work by that beautiful man down there. Me? Him and his wife. Oh. So it's the Never, Never Alone Dog oh. Bag. Oh, nice. The first hundred orders will get one of these. Um, you'll also be getting some of these beauties. Also from Scott and his wife, some nail clippers for keychain, but also, more importantly, a oh. beer bottle opener. Um, and and you will also be getting a pick. There we go. That, that's his never loan for you to scoop or play guitar like uh, Molly does. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that will be some Very of the cool. things. There will be stickers. There will be wristbands. There will be a bunch of stuff for sale. There will be coffee mugs, once again, by the beautiful man down there, and tumblers that will be for sale. There will also be a bunch of towels. It's it's gonna be crazy the amount of stuff that's gonna that's gonna yeah, be available. I was actually gonna I was actually gonna say I would like to give away a tumbler. Okay. But wasn't sure if I needed to show the other one. Uh, I'm sure you could show it. This, Look at this that. is actually the never alone tumbler. Oh that's beautiful. Wow, very nice. That is beautiful. Alright, so yeah, sorry. I, I saw Indy Shaver said that uh, Sammy puts on a good show at 76. I saw a clip of him today, probably a show like recently. It may have been Indy Shaver. He may have posted something. Um, I saw some clip where Sammy was singing. And yeah, I mean, he's still got the pipes at his age. You know, sounded really good. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm more, I'm, I'm more relaxed on Sammy in my old age than I was when I was a teenager, you know. <laughs> Uh, Ken says a huge thank you to Scott for all he did to add to Never Alone 4 and Carlos for all the promotions. My pleasure, man. You know, when uh, when it was you guys were talking about it, saying that it was going to be bigger this year and better and, you know, it gets bigger and better every year, I didn't know what that even meant. And then you, Jason started posting stuff, and I was absolutely blown away with all the different ideas you guys came up with and then the yeah, people you brought, brought into it, so... Well done this year, Jason, J Mac, Ken, Scott, yeah, Marcos, everybody. everybody, Heather. Well, I mean, Peter. I, I would just say so if you uh, if you're going to if you're going to purchase something, so this isn't the time to use a discount code or something like that because remember exactly. all this stuff goes to the, it's being donated, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is a time where you you pay full price for something. No, for sure, 100%. I mean, because literally everything will go to the cause, to the uh, suicide prevention lines, both the Canadian and the American. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brian. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's such a wonderful thing, and it's uh, a necessary conversation that has to happen. You know what I mean? We need to let people know that the stigma, the stigmatisms of being a man's man and just dealing with it yourself it's 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 no longer it should never have been a thing but it was and right. you know what we need to we need to break that barrier right. and let people know man it's okay to not be okay it's okay if you, yeah. you need if you, if you need to talk about anything even if it's just and guys we're not talking about just the extremes of you know you know like suicide and and all that no i mean of course for that but Man, if you had a bad day and you just want to vent, yeah, sometimes sometimes you're just down right. in the dumps, you know. And yeah, just I mean, need to unload, you know. Could be a yeah. string of a string of really small, but man, when five or six things you know pile on top, it becomes one big yep. thing. And you know what? Just reach out, man. And I'm not, and I'm talking. I know it's awkward, but sometimes you know i don't know i don't want to bother people just just reach out man all of us in this community you could reach out literally to anyone and they will be there for you i mean yeah. even if you haven't even spoke to me be like hey man you know it's I'm having a, a crappy day or I'm having a crappy week you know and then i guarantee you the next message will be like oh bro what happened you know let me know 
I'm, I'm here for you. And, and you can vent it out and let, it, let everybody know. And yeah. For uh, sure. Chris, Chris I'm sorry. Says, as I, a woman, I, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. But oh. when, when you said that, it reminds me of Norm MacDonald was on David Letterman. And he said he's got like 160,000 friends on, online. But he's only got two real friends. Yep. And he says, he goes, he goes, you know what the difference is? He goes, when your real friend calls, he says, hey, my grandma died. And you said, oh, great. You want to come over and talk to me for four hours? Yes. Yeah. But here online, somebody says, hey, my grandma died. You go, unfollow. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. And, and people are like that. But yeah, I, they're I'm not right. really in this community. Yeah. Uh, Crystal says, as a woman in this community, I must say I'm very proud of you all for breaking the stigmatism and trusting each other with our with your troubles. Thank you so well, you much, know, Crystal. You know what? The, I've just I just recently joined this community, say maybe around December, January, the like the past eight, eight months, right? Yeah. And I am just blown away by how nice everybody is. Right. You know, like yeah, I mean you don't you don't have a lot of the crap that you have with with some of the other communities, you know. Um, uh, who who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Right, shaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most. Well, that's the most. See it. I mean, Jason and Ken and J Mac got with me back in June and mentioned something about trying to help out with some promotional stuff, which we were fine with. Uh, but honestly, this community. I mean, you see the shave stuff behind me. There's. We all have more stuff than we'll use in a hundred lifetimes. Yeah. It's not that. Yeah, it's about the friendships. It's about the. It's about the community. It's about the people. It is. I mean, you can reach out to anybody pretty much at any time. Don't, don't hold it in. I mean, reach out. If the person's at work, you know, ninety percent of the time they'll message you back and say, "Hey, give me a few minutes." But yeah. there's. Hundreds of people that can reach out. I mean, we're a great big family. Do we fight? Do we argue? Do we, you know, that? But it's like brothers and sisters. Exactly. We just, mm -hmm. yeah. We hug each other. We get back together. I mean, until April, I always said these were the best friends that I had never met. Yeah. I got to meet a bunch of them in April. I'm meeting a bunch more next That's week. Right. But again, yeah, it's, I miss, I miss it's not. Great people in this community. It's I love the shave stuff. I love the Zen moments of getting back and shaving, but it's a lot more than that. A lot more than that. Barry says uh, NA4 hits home with, with him. Uh, he helps his, his daughter fight her demons every day, and he's here for anyone, for everyone, if you need it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Barry. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, yeah I mean, if, this... if you guys are at work and somebody contacts you, you go, Sorry, I'm working. Molly's awake. Yeah, yeah Molly's yeah, awake. Molly's exactly. Awake. exactly. <laughs> this, uh, uh, Jacob Perron, uh, as always, my DMs are always open for a chat. Might not have the right words to say, but can listen. That's amazing. You're you're an amazing person, Jacob. Yeah, and you guys, uh, I mean, I don't, like, the, the, the two gentlemen in the bottom, I don't know you guys. It's the first time I've seen you, so, I mean, nice to meet you. Um, I've got a YouTube channel and, you know, anybody that watches it, well, anybody, it doesn't matter if you watch or not, but if anybody wants to reach out to me for anything, just send me a message. You know, I'm, I answer everything that comes in, you know, yeah. and I'm, I'm good to talk to, you know? Yeah, no, you know, definitely dude. Ever since I watched your, uh, couple videos and yeah, you're a stellar, you're a stellar gent, dude. So thank you. when, when, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, no, definitely. So yeah, he's, he's a great guy. I even watched his live where he's playing the guitar. Um, yeah, he it was awesome. No, don't you dare. It was it was pretty bad. It was really cool. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it could be a stranger, but honestly, these strangers will listen to you and they'll talk to you and they'll 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 help you in any way they can. Yeah, you know, they, yeah. anybody out there, a stranger is just a friend that you haven't met yet. The other thing is. You know, there's there's times during the day where somebody's name will just pop into my head, and uh, I'll just I'll just message them and say, "Hey, how's it going today?" And you, you have no idea the impact that even that makes, yeah. Or the conversation that that could start. You know, yeah. it, it could be it could be meaningless to you, but for that person, it was you know yeah. it was everything for that day. It's true. Even even something as simple as a welcoming. Uh, a new community member like you'll see someone new come on and 
just reach out and say, you know, that I mean, I try to every time I try to say, hey, man, welcome. I'm glad you're here with us. You know, if you ever need help with anything, I mean, it literally just a smile too. It could be amazing. HVAC noob says Carlos enables and bullies me all the time. <laughs> I still smile and say thank you. Right. Oh, and they, oh man, the enablers in this community. Oh, I shouldn't buy any soap. Buy it. You know. <laughs> YouTubers are some of the worst enablers. Yes. I convince myself <laughs> I don't need something. I watch a YouTube review and I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah. That should be a shirt. Nat Shave says, we are strangers becoming brothers. 100%. That's right. Yep. Yeah, Molly listens to me all the time. He's a great guy, says Doug, Doug Lane. There's another stellar gent right there, sharpening and shaving guys. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Doug, yeah. Like, it, when, uh, when I first started my channel, Doug reached out to me, and we were talking and got together, and we've been tight ever since. You know, uh, Kim, Kim Gray says, Matt, how's your wife doing? Sending tons of love your way, my friend. Uh, I'm not great right now. Just tired oh. and weak. What, what's, what's up? Uh, she has Back brain cancer. Oh, yeah. really sorry to hear that. And that's another thing I was going to mention is this community has been amazing to me and my family and, and helping out during this time. Uh, me especially, you know, with being able to vent uh, sometimes to people, but uh, financially, things have been amazing and just little things to lift us up. So it's. Uh, we love you, Matt. We love you and your long, wife and your whole family. How long have you and your wife I've, been together? We feel it. How long have you and your wife been together? Uh, we've been together 24 years, married 19. Jesus. Wow. And, Beautiful. And how old is she? 43. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, tough right now. Dave P90. Uh -huh. Stellar gent. I've now got a people I consider friends at the other side of the world and I've never met and I know I can count on when times are hard. This community is nothing less than spectacular. Definitely. Yep. Um we got another question here. Uh Stack Reviews. What See, man, do I don't you want to do? I don't need this is the first time we've met and you're making me cry, man. That I just it just it, <laughs> Yeah, I know, dude. It's tough. Uh, Stacks Reviews says, you never know when it'll hit home for me. It was this year. I had a scare with my nephew, and most of you know about, and the community was there to hear me out and send prayers. Uh, I get emotional thinking about what could happen to my nephew, but the bros were there to chat with me and keep me at peace. We love you, Stacks. Uh, we have <laughs> Indy Shaves, Dave, Dave Lair says, uh, for Gen Xers like myself, this is just so amazing. This is just stuff that was never a thing traditionally when I was younger. Love it. Uh, uh, T Fundy says, I'm excited to get to have a label with Ken and J Max faces on it, and it's for a good cause, 100%. Uh, e Ram Ian says, the wet shaming community is the community I never thought I needed. Love each and every one of you, never alone. <laughs> Love you too, Ian. It's crazy. Love you too, Ripley. T Fundy <laughs> says it's crazy to think Sully and Molly are related. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> are not. I also so, am, Sully from Godsmack or Sully from X Files? No, it's Sully from the Shave Migos. From the no, Shave Migos. Yeah. Um, he just, it just, I'm used to saying Sully, so sometimes I'm almost saying it when I say your name because I'm so <laughs> oh, used okay. to saying it. Um, all right, guys. Let's do let's do the tumbler for Scott. Uh, let me see how many people I have here. Forty-two. Eight, 10, 12, uh, Forty-one. You got to count down to see how many is actually in there. Instagram message is up. Twenty-seven. <laughs> between, give me a number between one and twenty-seven, uh, Scott. Uh, fourteen, of course. Fourteen. Qué paso? Yeah, Angel. Bueno, bueno. Angelo's number. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. That is going to Marfell twenty two. Marfell, congratulations, what brother. <laughs> what are you looking that at? Is... To see who's number fourteen. Oh, you, you touch the, you you touch the arrow in the upper right corner and it, it, it drops down a menu of people. Oh, okay. That is 
<laughs> Marfell, that is Jesus Sedmano. Congratulations. Congrats. You got a tumbler <laughs> coming your way. And uh, yeah, let's do the $20 gift card. Matt, can you do the honor of giving me a number between 1 and 27? Uh, uh, 21. 21. And 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. That's going to Nicole Warren, 80. Yay! Nicole, congratulations. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I make the same sound when I try and clean my glasses. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Addison Road. This is... Uh, Stacy, my fellow Canadian brother. Hi, Carlos. I slept in this morning, so I likely missed you explaining it. Will there be full packages of the Never Alone Drop? Soap, splash, EDP, brush, wristband. Um, there, I don't know if there will be packages um, at a store, but you can, you can select what you want. I mean, uh, there will be brushes. Everything will be, I know you slept in, so everything will be previewed. So it will be on. So if you go to TRC, you touch the menu button, there'll be a never alone section. You click on the never alone section and it'll bring up everything. It'll bring up all, everything that will be available for purchase. Um, that way you can see what you want, how much money each, everything costs will be there. You won't be able to purchase it, but it will be there so you can preview it and, and make up your mind for what you need to uh, to grab. I don't think there will be, the wristband is definitely coming in every every order. You'll get a wristband, the first hundred orders will you will have a dog tag, a Never Alone dog tag. Um, I don't know exactly how many of these there are, but there's also nail clippers and bottle cap openers. There will also be stickers. Um, yeah, and also picks, guitar picks will also be uh, in all the orders. So there'll be tons of stuff. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out even after the live. Uh, Earl DeHart says this is even good for baby boomers it is it's true even the baby boomers pro tips always buy the brush first and then yeah they go super yes. fast <laughs> but there will be 85 brushes and there will be 50 listed right now um there will be 50 listed right now and then there will be uh the other 30 will go on in a few days i think i heard last year was 75 was it yeah maybe yeah so there's 10 yeah. more this year Hey, what's going on, Ruben? Yeah, um, so just go check it out. Read Red Dog Tag as Hot Dog. <laughs> no, definitely not. It's not a hot dog, although that would be nice if we could all get a hot dog with it. <laughs> I personally, myself, would not complain if I, now, I could get a free hot now dog. Now, this, this, this Never Alone soap and other stuff, right? When Is it available now? It, no, it's it won't no. Be, everything will be available on next next Saturday. Okay. Uh, All right. Ten a.m. Our our time. Everything will be available. Uh, um, okay. And do you ship to Japan? Oh, Jason ships everywhere. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Jason. Right. Gardner right. says this year will be eighty-five to start. I can't get the splashes because the you can't ship alcohol internationally. Yes. Okay. But you, yeah. you they have but they have balms. They have okay. uh, beard oils too. Okay. Um, yeah. This, there's tons like like I said this year he's really uh really when they everybody really pulled their weight and went overboard with everything giving everybody the options. So AKA is on. They said they made an extra ten last year after the fact for those that after missed out. Okay, so maybe yeah. they will make more. Yeah. yeah the, the, I mean if you guys go and look at them right now you can see the brushes they are gorgeous. It's gonna be so hard to pick, pick one. I'm sure you'll uh, make manage. That's why you pick two or three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Try, but try and pick two or three and, and try. Uh, uh, okay, ship yeah. to Thailand. Okay. Yeah, you'll be good to go. Now, somebody um, commented that uh, one of their their children is doing the doing the magic trick. That oh, was my, my wife is, and my granddaughter. No, no. Okay, okay, oh, she's okay, doing okay. that. So that's adorable. That is that is positively adorable. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, Marcel, um, the heads up, though, the Tumblr will come to you next week, uh, uh, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. And I'll ship it from me. It wasn't, uh, 
from one of the stock we've got. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so he'll ship it out straight to you, uh, this beautiful man. So just reach, reach out to me with your address, and I'll get it out to I'll, you. I'll connect you guys. I always send everybody. I'll send okay. you his link to his profile so you can reach out to him. Or, like, I'll send you the profile. Um, I'll say for anybody that uh, that doesn't have a Lancaster towel, this one is just just as soft, if not softer. Yeah, like, yeah. So you, you go and grab one. Even if you don't, even if you do, just get one. I mean, just I have, one. I have so <laughs> many towels, it's ridiculous. And they get dirty, so you don't have to just keep washing the one. You can get more. And, and they, this. <laughs> yep. I shouldn't have done this tonight. You guys are going to cost this me so blue much one money. is like my go-to. <laughs> yeah, I have like I think seven of those. This is the Never Alone from last year. There will be also more, more. Um, yeah, there it is. There will also be more this year. But of course, with the uh, AKA sure the brush work in the house. Beautiful. Yep. There it is. <laughs> yep. I even got, like I said, I got my OG. Yep, we're the, all using. I managed to get this. Tonight. I managed yep. to get this so th with the OG thank coin. You, thank you for getting this to me all the way to Japan. I appreciate that. Yeah, Gardner, Gardner, and Amelia are just—they're fantastic people, and they're—they're they're even. I mean, I don't know how it's possible that even more, they're even more amazing in person. And if you see Amelia, make sure you give her a huge hug because she loves hugs. Big. It's her favorite thing. And right now, she's probably going to yell at me in the comments. Saying, she's no going to yell hugs, at you. No hugs. No hugs. <laughs> I love it. I say it every year. Every year. Giant, do not giant hug, me. hug for says, her. <laughs> she says, do I'll, not hug me. <laughs> I'll give her a big, wet, mully kiss. That's it. Yeah. Mm, there you go. <laughs> no, of course. You know better. I know. I'm, I'm just playing with Amelia. I do it every year. But I can't wait to see you because guess what? I get the privilege of hugging her. I can't wait to get a big Amelia hug. Wait, you, and a you get the hugger? Oh, and Harry's coming. Harry, WHA uh, Jr. Oh, is right. coming oh. also. Yes. That's like hugging a house. Jeez. Man. You do not, you do not, not do justice. The, the camera doesn't do justice. When he gives you a hug, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, it's like he is, uh, he the, is, it's he like the old Bugs Bunny cartoons and stuff. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna hug him and squeeze him and call him George. Yeah, that's right. That's what you feel yeah, like when yeah. you're stuck with him. A hundred percent. Yeah. So guys, um, get ready. What? What's what, gonna be? What age, what age range are we looking at in here tonight, Carlos? How old are you? Forty-three. Okay, okay you guys. Matt, right? Yeah, forty-seven. And twenty. One. 21. <laughs> okay. I, th I think you and I are probably closer together. I'm, uh, let's see, 56. Me too. Yeah, I'm 56. Yeah, to you yeah. guys. Exactly. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, February 68. Nice. Yep. May 12, 68. There you February 12. Remember that next year for stacks. Yes. <laughs> I will. I will. Well, uh, I appreciate everybody coming on and watching. Uh, remember, go check out the stuff on Neverloan. Make sure you watch the Migos on Monday. It's going to be a good one. And get ready for next weekend. It's going to be awesome. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Matt, for coming on. Uh, thank you so much, Scott. And thank you so much. This is Molly's first uh, TRC live shave. And definitely Thanks not the last me. one. No, Thanks I appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. You're, you're a stellar gent. Check out his YouTube. Uh, it's Molly's Shaves is the YouTube. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, yep. right? Molly yep. Shaves, yeah. Give him a, and then, give him and then, a follow. Give him a, subscri a subscribe and some likes and go check out his stuff. Yeah, Molly Shaves on YouTube, Molly Shaves on Instagram. And if anybody wants to contact me with a message, uh, Molly at MollyShaves.com. There you go. Oh. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, and have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great, great Thanks weekend, for you, everyone. Guys. Thanks, nice, everyone. Nice meeting you. Buddy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good night. Or good morning. Good morning. <laughs>